my little hotties. I hope you are in the mood for lots of summer polish talk today because today's video is a collab. This collab is Top Summer Nail Polish Picks. It was put together by Jess Face 90 Thank you, Jess, for letting me know about this collab. So basically what we're doing is we're just all giving you some of our top nail polish picks for this summer 2016. So if you, kind of, if you look down in the description bar of my video, she put together a list of all the channels that are going to be participating in this collaboration. So you can kind of just hop around all the channels. I think there might be 15 or 20 around that range and you can take a look at everybody's polish picks so you could have quite a bit of fun here in the next couple hours just hopping around to everybody's channels and get a lot of great ideas for summer so we're gonna go ahead and get into mine before I forget to tell you on my lips this really easy nude from elf it's the jumbo lip gloss stick in summer nights I love these things they're so easy to wear I have a little bit of shimmer in them and they kind of smell like mint which is my favorite. I love that when lippies smell like mint and so that's what's on my lips. Let's go ahead and get into this. So I feel like for me when I think of summer colors, the, industry, the nail polish industry a lot of people put out like super duper brights or neons for summer um, and for me those just aren't usually the colors that I'm gravitating towards in summer. I like things a little bit more subdued, maybe a little bit more classic. I don't know, I just don't usually enjoy super duper bright things on my nails. Um, that's just me personally, of course, like a super classic bright red. Um, something like that is definitely enjoyable for me, but just my personal preference. And I think that these videos, hopefully you hop around to a bunch of them today, they're all people's personal preference. So you may not agree with what I'm going to show you today or all the other girls who are putting out videos today and that's 100% fine. You are entitled to like what you like, obviously. Um, but for me, I don't know, I just think, like, just like things... Mm, just I just I'm really not into the whole neon thing however if you like really bright colors really bright polishes these aren't necessarily neons but they're super bright the whole China Glaze summer collection is super bright and loud I totally recommend that whole collection to you really really fun there's some shimmers in there there's some creams but I'm actually not going to talk about any of those polishes today I'm going to actually kind of do completely different from that. So if you don't like anything I'm going to show you today, go for those China Glaze Summers because I really enjoyed them. But for me, as much as I love those colors, it's just not the palette I was feeling this summer. It just wasn't. So um, we're going to talk about a bunch of different ones. And actually, I was looking up Pantone's Colors of the Year for summer 2016, and I was finding myself really enjoying their palette and thinking that I was definitely along the same lines of them, like a dark blue... Um, like a light blue purple, a light turquoise, colors like that. That's what I was really, really feeling. So I'm going to do something a little bit fun. At least it was fun for me. I'm going to give you colors to go along with all of Pantone's suggestions for 2016. So I'm going to put up a picture really quick here of what I'm talking about. Pantone suggests 10 colors for summer 2016. As you can see, there's some that are definitely summer here. Um, that top row there. Well, you know, some of that top row looks summer. Some of it looks more spring. I think for me, spring kind of goes over into summer and then incorporates some of fall too. That's just what I like. And so what I'm going to do is go through these 10 colors for you and give you suggestions, my suggestions for what a really great um, color in that range would be from um, my nail polish stash. Hopefully you have some of these yourself so you can grab them out if you find that my suggestion suits you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to do live application of these because I want you to be able to quickly hop from my channel to these other girls' channels. So we're just going to look at the color. I'm going to give you a suggestion here and then you can hop off to their channels after you are finished with this video. So um, just be aware that I wouldn't really suggest a polish to you if it has a super yucky formula. These are all going to be pretty great in formula. So um, let's get started with that top left hand one. I'm going to reference the photo here a couple times for you as we go along. But the top color on the left that they're talking about is Rose Quartz. And so of course Rose Quartz and Serenity are their suggested color of the year. For the year, Rose Quartz I wasn't too big of a fan of because I don't love pink polishes. In fact, if they hadn't suggested that, I wasn't even going to include a pink in my favorites. But I did want to let you know, my choice for Rose Quartz is still this Rose Metallic. When I think of Rose Quartz, I don't think of like a soft, dusty rose. I think of a metallic rose because the name Quartz is in it. So that seems metallic to me. So this one makes a lot of sense. I really enjoy this. This is trying to glaze. Chrome is where the heart is from last year. And this is so great. One coat. I mean, this is a really, really good one. Now, of course, you could totally disagree with me and think that makes no sense. But for me, it makes tons of sense. And I think this is a lot of fun on the nails. If This is probably the brightest color I'm going to show you because 
Um, even though it doesn't look that bright in the bottle, because of that metallic gleam, this is really going to stand out and look like one of those fun metallic temporary tattoos. Really, really fun. So the next color along that picture is called Peach Echo. And peach is always a great color all year round for me because I'm not crazy about um, orange polishes. I maybe don't wear peach as often as some other things. So this is probably another color that wouldn't have necessarily ended up in my top summer picks. But I'm going to share with you one that I like pretty, um, pretty well. This is a nice sweet peach and it's called In Theory. It's by Color Club. It's what I have on my nails today. This is actually really similar to um, this new one that you saw yesterday on my channel from OPI from their vintage collection. This SPF 30 color, which is also a really good formula. So these two, as you can see, pretty darn close there. Um, SPF 30 is just a little bit more red. But um, two really great options. But I did want to share with you this older Color Club one is really, really good. Older polishes from Color Club, you can look on Head to Toe Beauty. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So this is my choice for Peach Echo. All right, next up, let's look at the little picture again here and see where we're at. We're going to talk about Serenity. So I've already told you my choice for Serenity. My ultimate choice of all time is China Glaze Boho Blues from the Road Trip Collection. That is my favorite polish of all time to date. I just love it. It's just the color that I would paint my whole body in when I did my favorite polishes a while ago. Actually, I think it's been in like every favorite polish video since that polish came out. It's so good, but this is really similar to it, isn't it? This is from Le Shaw, and this was in their spring collection. It's called Dreamscape, and Serenity to me is just like a light blue purple. It's like a periwinkle, but louder. So it's actually probably just a little bit lighter than this, but this is pretty similar to Boho Blues, but I always talk about that, so I thought I'd give you a different option, but if you don't have this, Boho Blues is where it's at. I mean, just leave your, just leave that on all the time. Um, but this has a pretty good two coat formula. Um, if you aren't aware of La Shaw, I know a lot of people aren't that aware of it because it doesn't get talked about that much, but I make sure to review every collection that they come out with because, um, first of all, I think that they're great, but also on Trans Design, you can get their whole set of minis. I, I just have a review on their summer collection that's out now, and I'm going to be reviewing all six of their mini polishes for summer. That video is coming up very soon, but you can get this whole thing for like four something, like 450, 425 or something on Trans Design, which is a great deal because these little bottles are the same size as a julep. So um, that is such a good deal. So I always review them and I do think that this is a really great one. I do happen to have this one in full size, but you can get the minis on Trans Design too. So if you want to pick this polish up you can just go get the mini set that is the same the size of this of their spring collection on transdesign.com so you really can't beat that and they're luxury size minis they're bigger than like an opi mini so you do get quite a bit of product and as much polish as we have we really don't go through you know our polishes that fast so i think it's a good deal if you want this polish you can get all of them so yeah that's my pick for the serenity shade this year let's move along the next shade i'm going to show you here the picture again is called snorkel blue so snorkel blue looks like a deep navy with like a pinch of green in it but i actually didn't show you one with a pinch of green because i was just in love this with this one too much this is the one from the se collection that i just shared with you guys this is a nice deep royal blue it's almost navy and it's called loot the booty it has tons of shimmer i really enjoyed this it's nice and pigmented without staining if you missed that review it was just a few videos ago go back and check it out that whole collection was outstanding but this one was probably my favorite out of the whole set this and the teal turquoise not really turquoise it's more of a like a light teal shimmer in that collection really really great so that is my pick for snorkel blue all right, the next polish in Pantone's lineup is Buttercup, which is just a bright yellow, um, not too soft. If I was actually picking a yellow for this summer, I'm much more feeling this. This is Tell Me About It from um, OPI's Retro Collection this summer. It actually needs three coats, so maybe not the best formula out there. At least it needed three coats for me, of course. We're all different, but that's how much I needed. Um, but I wanted to give you an option if you wanted to follow along with um, Pantone's colors and this is Misa Tumblebug. This came from I think like two summers back, I think it was 2014, where they did like a whole um, kind of like state fair, like carnival kind of looking colors where they're all um, like not bleached out but definitely like sun um, bleached colors. Like they're, they're bright colors but they're not like super duper bright if you know what I mean. So this is really great. I liked that whole collection if you want some um, other good 
summer polishes and I actually have one more in here that I'm going to share with you from this same collection. So if you really wanted a polish just like the one the Pantone suggests, I think this is a really good one. But for me, my personal preference is this summer I'm feeling this. But I love yellow so I am happy with both of these. Um, but yeah, just wanted to keep it real with you guys about what I'm feeling. So let's keep going. Next up on the picture here, we're gonna look at the bottom left and that is called Limpet Shell. So this one for me is like a nice light turquoise or light mint. Take your pick which one you're feeling. I'm feeling both of them, I really am enjoying them. So the two colors that I picked out are both from China Glaze and these look just like almost exactly the same, right? This is a little bit brighter version of I think Limpet Shell. You could go a little bit lighter than this. But these are the ones that I really like. So the difference in them is, this one over here is Rain Dance the Night Away and it's slightly more green. This is capacity to see beyond and it just doesn't have that extra pinch of green. They're super duper similar though. I love both of them. They both have an amazing formula. But my top pick, just to go along with the limpet shell um, that we were you know, looking at the picture, if we're trying to match up with that um, those picks from Pantone. I choose Rain Dance the Night Away for you. Um, for Limpet Shell, absolutely gorgeous formula. This looks delicious on the nail, especially with a glossy top coat. Love it. All right, so next up on Pantone's picture here, we have Lilac Gray, and you know how much I love a gray purple. Just next to like the Serenity color, that's just definitely one of my favorites. And this is actually the only purpley shade in their whole summer picks, which was a surprise for me because I, well just because for me personally, I think of wearing purple all the time, but it kind of surprised me. Um, and usually I'm much more into that purpley gray. Well, I really like it all year round, but I really, really like it for um, either spring or fall. But for me this summer, I was actually feeling more like this one from OPI, which is I'm Gown for Anything. This was my favorite from that Alice in Wonderland collection, which the whole collection was pretty fantastic. Those blues are just so juicy and beautiful. I didn't include any of them today because they didn't really fall in here um, in line with any of these colors, but instead of a gray purple, I was really feeling this. This has a great formula for such a light polish. The formula on this is just, just impeccable. So, so good. So this is kind of more of like, a dusty lavender cloud color. So not exactly lilac gray, but um, this is what I was feeling. Okay, so next up, Pantone suggests the color Fiesta. So this is definitely like a, a red orange. So think uh, the red orange in the Essie collections just came out. That's a really, really bright version. Here's another option for you. This is Misa Shoot the Shoot, also from that same 2014 summer collection that the yellow one came from. Where are you? Don't these look cute together? Really great, that whole collection looked so great together. So this is my pick and the reason being is this is just a little bit less vibrant than the one from the Essie collection which is what I feel like Pantone was suggesting. It's like a hot red orange but not, not fiery fiery hot, you know what I mean? Just kind of like, kind of like, I don't know, like a coal. That doesn't really make any sense because obviously that's really, really hot. I'm trying to think of what I mean. But basically, this color. And this is really, really good. This has a great formula. It's really nice and hot fire on the nail and just a great toe color. It's a good alternative to a classic red. Like in the summer, maybe you aren't feeling your classic red. Maybe that's more fall and winter. That just, mm, so perfect in fall and winter. But maybe for summer you're wanting to add a little bit of orange in there really really pretty. Alright so we have two left. Next up on Pantone's picture here they have chosen a color called Iced Coffee and this kind of looks like a taupey, almost like a poopy brown color. I hate to say that because I do like this shade. For me this is kind of like a warmer brown and those aren't always the shades that I go for because I don't have very much warmth in my skin tone. So I'm going to show you what I chose and this is a little bit going towards that color but not so much warmth. So this is OPI San Tantonio and I feel like with my um, fair pink toned skin I can get away with this color. Um, I do have shades that are more like iced coffee but I wanted to stay real with you guys on what I would actually pick and this is something that I would totally wear. I thought it was fun that they um, put you know a, a definitely brown color in here. It's not a nude shade. There's not a lot of skin tones that really look like that shade iced coffee so I don't think it's um, nude because there's too much like greeny like warm brown in there you know what I mean 
You know what I mean, guys? I hate to say poopy, but really, that's what it kind of looked like. I don't know, maybe you guys aren't feeling that and you're thinking, hey, that doesn't look poopy at all. That looks like perfection. And that's great. I'm glad if you think that. So anyway, this is my pick, Santantonio. I think it's great. I want to bring it out again. This is a little bit of an older color, but it's still great. Okay, and very last up, as you've seen on the Pantone picture there, we have a green. And they're suggesting like a nice hot grassy green and for me again that just has too much yellow in it so I wanted to wear something I wanted to pick something here for you that I would actually wear all of these colors that I'm showing to you I would actually pick out and wear for this summer and so I went with Zoya Ness and that's of course from their new sunsets collection this has a fantastic formula and what it is is it's kind of like this color green flash it's just the softer slightly bluer version so yeah I really enjoyed this one definitely recommend it's one of my favorites from that collection but if you miss that review go back a few more videos and I review all of the sunsets and seashells collection that whole thing is bomb so yes this is my pick for the green polish of the summer and that pretty much wraps it up guys I hope you had a little bit of fun hanging out with me let me know some of your favorite summer picks if you'd like to in the comment section below and don't forget to hop down to my description bar open that baby up and check out some of these other videos from the other girls I'm sure you probably follow a lot of us if you follow my channel I'm sure you follow their channels and so you will be seeing all these collaboration videos popping up on your feed today hope you're having a great day getting ready get into that summer swing of things and I think that's it so I will see you back for my next review I hope you enjoyed having two videos today and yeah take care bye let's just go ahead and talk about this yellow so this is a very nice cream buttercup yellow it's called towel me about it and this is one that needed three coats it's this kind of like a slightly louder version of the one that's in the soft shades. It is still very light. It's not, um, you know, too in your face or anything. I think that this looked absolutely gorgeous on the skin. 